Welcome everybody to another League of Legends recording where we're playing Lux and the enemy team just got first blood in our lease in. Okay, well that kind of messed up my little dance intro. Um, anyway, let's go and see if there's anybody there. Gold level start. Okay, Gwen. Anyway, uh, we're doing the Moonstone Appreciation uh, series. This is the second video of it where we're playing Lux with Moonstone, as I was saying. These are the runes for the start. Um, it's going to be Airy, Mana Flow, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, with Font of Life, and Revitalize. Uh, we're going to get as much heal as possible for our team. Much heal and shield. Um, mostly shielding, though, because Moonstone, once again, does not heal on uh, combat anymore. It just amplifies and chains your um, healing and shielding that you output, which I think is a very good change. Um, I discussed in the last video that it's uh, definitely a worthwhile uh, change for the characters that utilize it properly. And it doesn't feel overpowered for any character to just use it. Unfortunately, they got level 2 first. They got their Karma Q out. Empowered Q, that is. But we're not missing much CS, it looks like. Alright, good. They dodged that, so they are more aware of their dodging. This is a uh, low platinum ELO game. Uh, that's where I've been for a while. In my ranked modes. Whoever got that, that was uh, Urgot that got it, level 1. That's not so bad. Ow. An ally has been slain. The path is lit. Mm. I must see my destiny. Kiana's not really getting much farm, but her getting a kill kind of makes it even for her. Ooh, good trade, good trade. Actually, that wasn't so great because Kaisa got her full um, uh, Q burst. We're just trying to farm here. Trying to get more packs off. Unfortunately, they're not taking that much damage, but Kaisa's low on mana, which means that they're either going to have uh, them bait Elise into us. Or us into Elise, I should say. Or they're going to overextend and we get a kill on them. Christ is completely out of mana now. Just on us coming down here. Where there is shadow, I will bring light. That was a good uh That was a very good gank on their part. I should have aimed the Q to the right a little bit more, which would have made Kaisa move further to the left to avoid and still stay in auto attack range. But I was trying to get it in the uh, position where they were mostly just getting jumped at and slowed. They just were able to get enough movement speed because of Arma shield and movement speed. Ooh, I managed to land a... Uh, you and Kaisa there. Let me drop another ward here. I missed uh, Ash at my shield, unfortunately. If you hear any barking, don't mind it. It's just my dogs playing. They have a lot of pent up energy from the night. Nice. We did manage to get flashes, which is really good. I'll maintain heal. Or at least hold heal. Damn. She actually got out. Hope 
banishes fear as sure as the sun does darkness. Jeez. I could have flashed for that. I thought that we had one last auto available on her. But Ash is holding on to a ward. No wait. Oh, she was just invisible. Whoa. When did Argot get down here? I was not expecting that. So now he's going behind Tristana. I'm gonna go back now. I've got enough experience so far and I just need to get items to match. Or components, I should say. Looks like it's gonna be a difficult game. But that's okay. We thrive for difficult games, makes them longer, makes us uh, see the full potential of our items. Good karma rotated top. Shut down. Nice, we got a shut down. Oh, he burned uh, Urgot Flash. This should be a kill here. Very nice. And I was able to get an assist at least with the slow and the shield. You don't have to do damage as a support in order to get an assist. If you know that your other car allies can do enough, you can just throw assistive abilities. Um, especially if you're trying to make sure that they get all the kills. If you're playing like Burst Lux, where you're playing with like Ludens or Leandries, then that's a different story. Take all the kills that you want. Who cares? But when you're playing like... Soraka... Soraka, Lulu... Yumi. You want to try and not steal kills because your kill potential isn't that great. Okay, so she went and leaped on me. I'm gonna... Take a potion and stay. Just so I can hold Kiana's attention a little bit longer. That's fine. Just making sure that they stay. Yeah, she knows. Persona with more solo gold is more important than these three splitting gold. Yes, they are getting gold, but Tristana is holding. And I get this to get experience. I ran out of mana. I'll drag you kicking and screaming into the light. I guess I can stay a little bit longer. Never I don't think my heal was even ready by then. We're going to start putting points in our W. So our E is on a good level here. So we get enough uh, movement slow, damage, but we don't need to go too crazy with it. Uh, let's get start building into Moonstone. Then we're going to CDR boots as well. It's a little rough right now. Four kills on our side, ten on their side. Which I wasn't there to shield that one. Sorry, Ash. Let me throw an E just so I can see. At least we got the Drake. 
so cloud I don't want any part of that I didn't know she had root there don't want to test it nice took advantage of Kiana typing that's what you get for typing Big. And we get first turret. I will be a luminous force in the world. I'm gonna push this since Karma's not here. Your turret has been destroyed. Do not fret. Three points in shield now. We'll go back to maxing E once we get 5 points on shield. But we're trying to make things frustrating for the enemy team. I still don't have my ward quest completed. Because we've been at a disadvantage in positioning. But I am 2 levels ahead of the Karma. My reset isn't the best because Ash is alone. But the wave is pushing back, so that's what's important here. Okay. This should potentially be enough to keep Kiana. Oh man, her movement speed from Karma. I got the uh, Kiana, which is good. Let's get out of here, Tristana. Nice. And Urgot doesn't get to eat up Kiana or Tristana. Oh, that leap. That's a good leap. I don't have enough mana for my ultimate, but it's okay. Be able to get a shutdown. Alright. DDR Lux is working as intended so far. Getting enough cooldowns out. Let's just run away. I'm out of mana. Guys, 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 guys. I'm out of mana. Okay, we still got them. Nice. Good work, team. Guess we can keep working for the uh, tower here. Nope, Elise is here. Elise finally went to clear her bot side, didn't she? I'll stay with Ash. I don't want this Elise killing her. Plus, our mana regen is pretty good. But I just want to make sure I get my item here. Uh, we don't have enough for a Forbidden Idol yet, but we'll, we'll save for that. Get more heal and shield power. Uh, elements, we weren't even thinking about that. Let's start with water. The element of water. wonder if I can land... Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, we got one, but Urgot is really strong. And he doesn't even give a damn that I'm here. Since we have three auto attackers, I think second item should be... Um... Ardent Sensor. 
technically four auto attackers. We have the benefit from attack speed, we get magic damage for their autos on hits. Uh, we kind of give up this Drake here, right? I think backing would also be a good idea right now. I don't think it's worth going here. We got a turret up there. That's good. I need my Oracle Lens last round. Uh... I want to get a little bit of credit. Damn it. They were holding on. They smited early. I thought I could get it. But hey, our team is bot side. Getting a T2 tower. While the enemy team is chasing. I can try and meet halfway. Good scouting by Quinn. Now he can start seeing the benefits of using Moonstone as the shield is being moved over and transferred. I'm going to go for this, but first I'm going to scout that bush with my E. They got any other vision or let them know that they have vision here. Surge forward. Want to get that gold there. Uh, we already have water. Let's go with Fairy. Or Mystic, as they say. In the person you want to be. Are they walking around the map back and forth? Unless Argot just went back. Yeah, he kind of got he got a Titanic Hydra. Yeah, we don't fight this. Need a little bit of AP and my control ward. Ooh, Elise is back there? Hmm, interesting. Trying to heal you through it. Nice. Big shutdown. Okay. The fight's huge. Let's get big shields for our team. Oh! Clean! That was clean. Okay. Very good work, team. Urgot's gonna need a Serpent's Fang in order to fight us. Get a control ward in the Baron pit. Try to take out any vision that they have in River. Alright, we did get their um, Isis Flash, so that's really good. This should give me my uh, Ardent Sensor, yeah. Huge. I didn't see that ward get put down. Okay. I'll back right here while the minions are fighting back. 
in an empowered state. Now we've got our Ardent. All of our ADs should be benefiting from increased attack speed. Oh! Let's get out of here. We lost one. That's no big deal. It's good that the empowered Q is used on me. I'm not going to be inside the fight. Let's give my team shields. I'm going to keep vision on top of the Drake. Nice, you stole it. The attack speed's working. Did she go across? Wow, she actually was able to take advantage of the uh, the raptors. A lot of the gold is on Urgot right now. Their Kaisa doesn't have anything. Kiana's not really been uh, like helping their team out much. Go back and get another Forbidden Idol. Sorry, I was looking to see if Zara was eating Abby's food. I keep an eye on Abby's bowl because uh, Zara likes to go and eat what's not hers. Right, puppy? I'll go hang with her after this video. Oh, this is a pretty solid video. I did not even look at my KD. I'm 2-0-12. I got 150 gold bounty as well. Yikes. We all can become what we fear. We shielded 602 with our chain healing. Our heal and shield power is currently at 31%. So they should be having a difficult time fighting our team uh, with the more shields that I throw out. I have a bounty, but I don't think it's worth Kiana trying to run at me. I missed that one? My win is An ally has been slain. Free bot side. We can kill this Urgot. Damn it. That Karma Shield saved him. Wait, did Tristana have ult that whole time? Oh, that was a nice shield. I'm probably gonna have to get Putrefire. Future Fire would definitely help out here. And also gives heal and shield power, so. Bonus! Next video will probably be um, Soraka, by the way. Even though we already did one technically before the Yumi video, it wasn't part of the series, and I want to play more Soraka anyway. So we'll do another one for Soraka. If you guys have any suggestions on which champion I should do next after that for uh, the Moonstone Appreciation series, feel free to throw your suggestions. I did get a root on the... Kaisa, which is huge.
I only threw my shield over at Lee Sin because I wanted to encourage him to go in. And I know that his reactions are pretty fast enough where he would actually like turn around and go in there. A lot of the a lot of the time when you play a, com a cooperative competitive game like this, you want to try and empower your allies by letting them know that you can see you can enable them in any way possible. So, for example, like say we'll we'll go from not an enchanter perspective. They're playing Nautilus, and you see that your ally is chasing someone that you don't think is worth going for if it was just them alone. But you know that your crowd control is just enough. You walk and ping in that direction saying that my presence is going to be there. Even if you don't get to land something, just at least simply being there is enough to let someone know, hey, I support you. You want to let people know that you support them. Why did I pick up an Aether Wisp, by the way? I'm going back and selling this. I'm wasting some gold here, but I meant to go pick up a um an oblivion orb. Shut down. That was such a bad uh waste of money there. That was like an automatic click. I'm sure some of you are looking at, at the video like when I bought it, like, what are you doing? I thought you said you're gonna buy Putrefire. And I don't blame you. I'm not using that voice to like mock you guys. It was just more that that's me mocking myself. <laughs> oh, Nyromancy is underrated. All right, so let's see. Ah, uh, my heal didn't click on her. It went on Ash instead. Very huge, very huge. I almost have my ult as well. Ah, uh, they dodged. That's okay. I tried, Lee. Oh my god, I'm alive. I'm alive and barely alive! Woohoo! I had 100 health left. GG well played. That was a good game. Perfect Lux healing support. Or Moonstone support. Let's give it to Ash. Ash was pretty decent. S minus? Okay. We'll take that. Alright, so we had 11,000 damage. Which is just a little bit more than their karma. Their Kaisa had no damage. Poor thing. How much uh, shielding do we do? 9,573 compared to Karma's 1,635. Were you even using your kit, Karma? An ally healing, 2,349. Yeah, I was using the um, healing summoner, right? And Font of Life. Check the runes. We shielded 973 damage with Aerie, dealt 837. Font of Life actually healed 1,415, which is not bad, compared, considering that we all were fighting together, typically. It was like three of us at minimum. We vitalized bonus shielding 1,579, so we utilized our kit very well. And that was a very solid game. Once again, 3-0 and 20 for our scoreline. So if you guys enjoyed that video, um, put a like down and let me know that you had liked that a lot. Um, 
I thought that was a pretty solid game and a very good addition to our Moonstone Renewer series, uh, appreciation series. So feel free to hit that like, subscribe if you are not uh, followed to the channel, and check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash nizan underscore. And we'll see you for the next video. Adios.